Hey everyone, so I am back with a new video uh, for today. I do want to apologize though because I have been getting a lot of complaints about my mic and I still haven't been able to fix my mic, but I promise this will be the last video that I'm going to be doing with my current mic, which is just the onboard uh, microphone on my phone. And I think one of the problems with it is that it's a stereo mic and not a mono mic. Um, but I just don't really know how to fix that, unfortunately. So I am really sorry um, that it affected you guys in some of my previous videos. Um, but I haven't made a video in a while, so I just wanted to post a, another video with an update on some of the things that I'm doing. Um, and uh, just my progress through the game and all um, and primarily I wanted to show the new stages that I've been farming um, I guess one of them isn't new but I have just been farming Lila's story um, for a goal to get her to um, 65 SC so it should be about three more days give or take like a day I have been able to uh, solidly get a what like one single skill cost point per day which is pretty nice um, but um, I am on break right now so I have been playing a lot uh, just because I don't you know I'm back home for winter break I am usually you know at university and I don't have as much time to play but um, now I do so it's been fun to just kind of like relax and just really get into the grind um, but I wanted to show you an update I made for either grinding Lila stage and then also another stage I found that is really good to clear also I will say that um, I did manage to snag the Maha wand um, and I know a lot of you might be thinking like, how did I get this this fast? Cause the arc just came out a few days ago. Did you whale? Um, no, I didn't whale for it. Uh, I actually did have to buy a $30 pack to spend on the Maha banner. I saved up 14 K gems from the new story mode, but that didn't give me a Maha, uh, arc or the Phantom Robin. So I was like, I really don't want to spend any more money. So I thought I would buy all of the like cheapest packs first and just do those. And I, that did manage to get me a Mahawan, which I am very happy for because I, I saved up all my Ethereons ever since the start of the game to get this wand, folks. So it's something I really wanted. So I did kind of like, I felt it felt really good to just get the arc, instantly use all my Ethereon on it. Um, and get that reward, which I've been saving my Ethereans for so long for. And it is uh, awesome. Like, it's a great reward, I, I will really say. It's the best in slot for Lila or Santetheria, if you have any of those. And of course, Light High Boost is also on the arc. But it's taking me a while to amass the orbs to level this to 9. Simply because I do either ground a lot. So that really puts a halt on the orbs that I have. As you can see, I only have 40,000 blue and 8,500 red because um, I've been upgrading it whenever I can. So um, first, I'll, I did want to show my new method of farming Lila stage. It is a little faster and all it is is just really, um, it's using, I guess sometimes I do take support. Well, this event I've been taking support. Um, now that I've found out, you can just isolate the physical support so you don't have like a random Zekas just casting Blizzard or something. But okay, so the how I farm this stage, or how I have been farming it, because I also want to level um, Santa Theria. God damn, I can't, it's so hard to click on these sometimes. Here we go. So what I do for this stage is I take off Shining Zoth because one Shining Zoth isn't able to fully nuke it yet, but when it is, I might try farm farming it with Shining Zoth. I'm not sure. Um, I think if you're interested in like, oh, if one Shining Zoth could nuke it versus um, Holy Bolts, which is faster, I think ultimately the Holy Bolts will still be faster, especially Let's if you have two together. mages like Santa and Lila, both with light boost and everything. Um, but the thing is, is that when using Holy Bolt, something really annoying can happen, which is the dark, or which is the Archdemon getting his Dark Matter cast off, which I think happens about like once every ten runs. So it's not a huge deal, just because like the Holy Bolt spell doesn't stop time. Um, but and then another thing is it can juggle him like way too high, which is also pretty annoying. 
Um, but yeah, I don't know which would ultimately be better, like, you know, which is faster per hour. We'd, I'd have to do some more testing once I get my Shining Rock to be able to one-shot the Archdemon, which I do actually think is possible. Um, this next run here, I will show, uh, like, how close the Shining Zock is to being able to one-shot it. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure I have all my... Yeah, I do. Okay. I guess I could put on... What time is it? It's, it's still Wisp's time, not Holy Night Radiance. I could put on this, too, just to see, but... It's only 10% damage. I think once I get 30% damage, it should be able to one-shot it with a single Zoc, and then I'll be able to test that uh, for everyone to see if anyone's interested. Like I said, I'm pretty much still sure that the uh, that farming with Holy Bolts is going to be faster if the amount of times the Archdemon can cast Dark Matter or gets juggled too high by Holy Bolt. Um, that that might throw it off a little bit and put the hourly farming like in favor of shining zog yeah see i still have 16k hp left so although i guess i'm doing 40k damage so if you add 30 percent more to that um with light high boost assuming that i have that that would be what so it'd be um it'd be what 4.2 times 3 so it'd be like 12 or It'd be like 16k more damage, so actually that's almost exactly what I would need to uh, one-shot it with this single Zoc. Um, and I guess my int is going to increase a bit as well when I level to 100, so it's probably definitely possible. Um, so yeah, I will definitely... Sh if, if, if I can one-shot it with a single Zoc, I will absolutely show that, because I think that would be cool. Especially since it, the Zoc would be uh, one-tapping it through the magic barrier that the Archdemon has, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that's basically how I farm uh, this stage, um, is just, I use the Holy Bolt method now, I was just showing the Shining Zot just to see how close it was to one-shotting. But mainly in this video, I did want to share one more thing with everyone, is another stage I've been farming, I've been switching off between Lila's story mode stage and a stage called Imperial Commander 3 in Gradia Mountain's hard mode. Um, now obviously the drawback of farming this stage is that I can't get unit souls from this, which ultimately is what you farm for at endgame, but a bonus to it is, let me show this drop table here, um, a bonus to it is uh, you can get crystal clusters, um, experience potions, the and alchemy, which is very common, as well as skill books, which I don't really need, but they do happen to drop a lot, unfortunately. Um, but... Um, and the other bonus of this stage too is here, I'll show you, oh, let's take in someone for support, is that um, one Shining Zoc will melt this stage, um, and it has been consistently ever since I got Maha Wand. Before Maha Wand, one Zoc would sometimes nuke the stage, but not always, um, and that would just be due to crit. Because the thing about this stage is the boss is weak to light, but none of the mobs are weak to light, which kind of shows the power of Shining Zoc able to one-shot mobs that aren't even weak to it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the stage, it can one-shot it in anything between, see, 16 hits right there on the counter. It can one-shot it anything um, between 14 and 17 hits. Um, so it's overkilling it by quite a bit, in case you don't know, because Shining Zoc does have a total of 19 hits. So yeah, basically what I do is I just, I've just been spamming a lot of this stage, hoping to get blue crystal clusters, um, and that's so I can complete my Santa Theria's tree. Um, because she needs a lot of blue clusters, really, guys. It's not, it's not even funny how many blue clusters Fine. you need for this girl. Like, she needs three for light attribute rays, three for shining Zoc, three for high level magic cast, and then she also needs, like, probably three total for her, or no, she needs one total for her trade, but we're, we're already at, like, oh, nine here, one. guys. Like, that's a lot of blue clusters. Yeah. Um, not even really, like, it's stupid how many you need. I mean, I know she's pretty strong, but still. Also, combine that with the seven purple clusters you need for uh, getting uh, full shelter, whatever that's called. Like, 
That's a lot of resources to invest in this girl, man. Not saying she ain't worth it, but just saying like it's gonna be a bitch to farm if you didn't have it ready. But yeah, guys, uh, since I assume no one really wants to see me just spam ether grind the stage, you get the picture. Um, I'll do one more run and then that's probably gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to show everyone the new Imperial Commander 3 stage. Um, and just to, uh, just to basically lay out that it is a very good stage to either grind since it can be nuked in one Zoc. Um, I tr I've tried nuking it with one Crimson Flare too from Dine, but, um, it doesn't nuke because the boss is resistant to Dark and I think neutral to Fire, but it just doesn't do enough damage. Uh, Crimson Flare just isn't as damaging as Zoc, and that's just how it is. But, um, my Dine also doesn't have Fire High Boost either, so that might help. But yeah, um, it's gonna be it for this video, guys. Um, so yeah, uh, in conclusion, I guess I really do apologize for the mic. I will have a new mic in my next video, so you don't have to deal with this. Um, I can promise that. It won't be like a amazing mic, but it'll be something that's better than just my phone mic, which I guess the problem with that is it's a stereo mic. But yeah, guys, um, overall, I'm still having a lot of fun with the game. Once I finish Lila, which I plan to do once she reaches 65 SC, I don't know if I said that, should be in a few days. And then also I will have another video out once I learn white high boost, which should also be in a few days because my God, this art takes so many orbs to level up. It's not even funny. I don't even know what I was doing, maxing God of the Dead. I think I wanted to teach a biscuit to something, but yeah, that took a lot of orbs as well. I'm just dropping that off for now. Um, And then, yeah, I mean, I think, Global hopefully will not get another limited unit for a while. We've had too many. It went straight from Colab to Santetheria here. So, yeah. Um, but I if you have been paying attention to some of the characters released in JP server, they are all very cool. They're designed very well. Yes, they power creep a little bit. Hopefully, in the uh, subsequent characters they release, they're not like too much of a power creep. Hopefully, it's pretty slow and gradual, and they add more like unique uh, changes instead of just like direct upgrades to previous characters. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm excited for the game still. I think it's at an exciting spot right now, and. Um, any, you know, new or uh, relevant content that I discover or um, get better at clearing, I will definitely post some more videos for that. So as always, thanks a lot for watching everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Happy holidays.